Hello guys, welcome to my channel where I talk about all sorts of things related to myself, to my experiences, and also things that can help you guys be better. I hope that you like the content. If you like the content, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications on so that the algorithm is nice to me and we can get this going. So today I want to talk about 20 facts about me. 20 facts about who I am, what I've been through, things that have completely changed my life and things that have molded my life. So let's get right away into it. We'll start with number one. I was born in Puerto Rico in 1993. Um, I was born in the tiny island of Puerto Rico. Uh, I lived there for 24 years. Um, I learned my English in the island. I made an effort to uh, speak American English by the time I moved to the US. Um, so yeah, that's the number one fact. I was born in Puerto Rico. Number two, this is a little bit funny, but uh, I'll completely admit to it. My nickname is Mega Man. And the reason my nickname is Mega Man is because back in middle school, we used to have uh, the Game Boy Advance and we used to play video games on it all the time. By that time, uh, my favorite game to play against people and to play by myself was Mega Man Battle Network from the for the Game Boy Advance. So this is the reason why jokingly and lovingly uh, some of my friends call me Mega Man. Uh, number three, when I was a kid, I wanted to be a firefighter. I literally, uh, the only time I wore a costume because I didn't celebrate Halloween. So it was the only one time I actually dressed up as something. Um, I dressed myself as a firefighter. Uh, we had this school thing going on and it literally was an amazing feeling um, uh, to see all the other kids dress up as how they wanted to be. And I got to dress up as a firefighter. And that was one of the things that I wanted to do when I grew up. Unfortunately, I didn't fulfill that passion, but here we are. Number four, uh, I was born and raised as a Jehovah's Witness. Uh, for 24 years, the time it took me to stay in Puerto Rico, or to live there, I was one of Jehovah's Witnesses. Uh, I was a ministerial servant and a pioneer. For those who you don't know what a ministerial servant is, it's pretty much the pastor's help or the priest's helper. Uh, and a regular pioneer meant that you will preach door to door 70 hours every week, every month, I'm sorry. So it will be almost a second part-time job, if you may. Number five, I have never, ever gotten fully drunk. I have gotten tipsy. I have, sometimes I have had friends uh, literally like give me some drinks and I'll get a little bit dizzy and whatnot. But I have never gotten fully drunk to the point of, vomiting and anything like that. Uh, as a former Jehovah's Witness, I was prohibited to do that. So uh, I never got to do that myself. So it's really funny. Um, number six, uh, I am, I was raised by my single, a single mom. Um, my mom did everything in her power to take care of me, to raise me the way that she wanted me as a Jehovah's Witness, but also to raise me as a good, decent human being. Um, I love her to death till this day. Uh, she's uh, my best friend, she's my mom, uh, and I love her, I love her a lot. Number six, I mean, number seven, I used to sell pineapples in the island of Puerto Rico. So the way it will work, we will grab a pickup truck and we will literally fill it up with pineapples and we will go to different towns in the island and sell the product for different prices depending on the size. Um, we used to cut them right there and there, put them in bags and literally sell them to, 
to people who were interested or to stores that wanted to sell them back. Um, I got to visit a lot of the island. Uh, that was towards my last years in the island of Puerto Rico, my home country. And uh, it was an amazing experience. It really was. Number eight, huge, huge wrestling fan. And not wrestling, professional wrestling, right? Don't get those two confused. Uh, huge WWE fan when I was younger. Now a huge AEW fan. Um, huge fan of Stone Cold Steve Austin, The Rock, John Cena, Edge, Chris Jericho, CM Punk, Shawn Michaels, and The Undertaker. Uh, Triple H can be put in there too. Uh, huge wrestling nerd. I love everything that has to do with the wrestling or the pro wrestling industry. Uh, number nine, love, love Spider-Man. If I had a second nickname, it would be Spider-Man. Uh, literally one of the most influential superheroes in my life. Uh, I was very nerdy in school. I was a Jehovah's Witness. I was bullied a lot. So every time I saw Peter Parker being bullied in his origin story and then becoming Spider-Man, that used to motivate me a lot. And it still does to this very day. Number 10, Star Wars. Um, I used to be a huge Star Wars fan. Um, lately, the way that they handled the last trilogy, I didn't agree with it. Um, I thought that Rey wanted, needed to be a better character. I thought that Rey had to be developed, had to face the problems that Anakin and Luke faced in Star Wars to be as powerful as they became later down the road, both as Master Luke and then Lord Vader. Um, I thought that uh, the firing of Gina Carano was unjustified. Uh, I think everybody deserves to have their own opinions, whether they're popular or not, or whether they're right or not, um, unless they're trying to hurt on purpose many people. Um, and ever since then, I stopped being a Star Wars fan, but I still love the original prequel and sequel, uh, the prequel and the original trilogy of Star Wars. I still love those. Um, number 11. Um, back in the island in Puerto Rico, uh, we made fun of other Latin American countries by their accent, their music. And one of the ones that we made fun of the most was Mexicans. Uh, we used to imitate their music cry, like, you know, and make fun of it and whatnot. And it turns out that now... <laughs> Years later, I am married to a Mexican-American wife and I love their family. And yeah, you can tell how karma really acted on that one. Uh, number 12, I lost most of my friends. Um... When I decided to leave the Jehovah's Witness religion, I lost most of my friends. Uh, as you or some of you may know, Jehovah's Witnesses are very strict on when you leave the organization. People are supposed to shun you. People are supposed to not talk to you or not reach out to you. But even before then, even before I left, uh, me leaving Puerto Rico, I already could feel the emptiness of not having a lot of friends. So after three or four years of me leaving the religion, I have had to reconstruct my friend circle and my contacts. And it's been rough. It's been really rough. Number 13, I... For the majority of my life, lived with my mom and my uncles. So both my aunt, my aunt and my uncle by my mom's side, uh, they're both single and they have never married. Um, so they made a decision to live all three of them together. And they were the ones that were responsible for my upbringing. Um, I love all three of them like a lot 
and I miss them every day. Number 14, my first car was a gift. So my first car was a literal gift. Um, my mom's uncle, one of my favorite uncles of all time, um, decided that when I graduated uh, college or before that, he, he will give me a car. And um, that car has been passed down from family member to family member. That's normally how things you, you obtain things in Puerto Rico. You either work for them a long time or you inherit them from a family member. And I inherited a Mitsubishi Mirage of 1994. And that car is still running till this day. And whenever I go back to Puerto Rico, I'm going to drive that car because I miss it like hell. <laughs> number 15 love chinese food nothing else to say about that number 16 i hate vegetables uh number 17 uh i almost drowned in a pool so funny story uh you would assume that puerto ricans being islanders that we will know how to swim and we will know how to you know play in the water and most of them do uh i never got to learn how to swim until just a year before <laughs> i started to learn how to swim in 2021 so <laughs> um uh, one time i jumped they dared me to jump and i jumped into the pool and i started getting water into my throat and my nose and i just started you know drowning even though i was tall enough to like literally you could see my hands me jumping up and down trying to reach for air um and then a jehovah's witness uh went out and saved me so that that's a funny story <laughs> um number 18 i am a terrible dancer even though i'm puerto rican that doesn't mean I don't dance. It means that I never learn how to properly dance salsa. I never learn how to properly dance bachata. Like, uh, I started practicing those dance moves later on in life. I wasn't a guy that goes to a lot of par parties and I was never invited to a lot of places. Uh, so it was really hard. And then when I was invited to those places, I used to just stay on my phone or stay on my iPod and just ignore everybody. So yeah, I never learned how to dance properly. And that's a chain. I have a lot of Puerto Rican blood in me and I still have the rhythm, but I don't know how to dance properly. <laughs> uh, number 19. I am a sucker for good 80s music. Uh, I love 80s music. Uh, and number 20, I'm a public, uh, public speaker. It's not hard for me to go up front of hundreds of people and talk uh, about the topics that I care about. Back then, it was the Bible. It was the scriptures and whatnot in the watchtower and all that but i was never afraid of people i was never afraid of being up front and certain and center and i miss it and i miss helping others that way and teaching them what i have learned so um yeah that are those are 20 facts about me guys um probably some of you may be interested in this video uh, some of you may not make sure to comment down below if you like this type of content or not uh, make sure to like subscribe and turn on notifications so that the algorithm is nice to me and my channel and as always guys uh, thank you for watching and i hope that you have a blessed day como decimos pa'lante